Hi everyone, today I will show how to change Office 365 update channel. You can change the update channel in four ways. You can change it with group policy, you can change it with Office deployment tool, you can change it with configuration manager, and finally you can change it with Intune administrative templates. In this video, I'm going to use group policy. As you can see here, my Office 365 is on current channel and I want to change it to monthly enterprise. Before I begin, I need to make sure Office Automatic Updates 2.0 is enabled on this machine. And it's going to be enabled by default on most machines. I mean, most uh, Windows 10 and Windows 11 machines. And if you want to check it on your machine, you can find the task scheduler under Microsoft, click Office, and then you should find Office Automatic Updates 2.0 and status should be ready. Then I need to download the group policy templates create the GPO, apply it to the correct OU, and then apply the group policy on the machine. So let's start creating the GPO. Now we need to download the policy templates. Right now I'm logged into my Active Directory and I'm going to download the templates. To download the templates, you can go to this website and I'm going to include the link in the description of this video. Click on download and select either x86 or x64. I have already downloaded the x64. Once you downloaded the file, double click on it because we're going to extract the templates. Select continue. We need to select the folder as our destination folder. So I'm going to select this new folder on my desktop. Click OK. Right now is extracting, extraction is completed, and we have these two folders and one Excel file. So what we are looking for is this ADMX folder. Open the Excel file and you can see here under application, you see for Microsoft Office 2016 system, we need Office 16.ADMX and Office 16.ADML. ADML is for language specific file and ADMX are just for our, it's our policy templates. What you need to do now, find your policy definition and here's the path. It should be the same on your system. Obviously you don't have this uh, domain, so yours is going to be different, but here's the path to your policy definitions folder. Now, what we need to do, I need to go to ADMX folder and copy Office 16 ADMX to this folder. And because I'm in the US, I'm gonna go en-us folder and copy Office 16 ADML in this folder, en-us folder. Once I copy these two files, now I need to go to, to my group policy management and create my GPO. Once you have group policy management open, it's up to you if you wanna create this GPU on the test OU, or if you're comfortable, you can apply this to the entire organization. I'm in a test environment, so for me, it doesn't matter. So I'm gonna click on my domain and I'm gonna create a GPU on this domain. I'm gonna call it Office Update. Select OK. Now I'm gonna right click and select Edit. Here under Computers, I'm gonna select Policies, then Administrative Templates. Then I'm going to select Microsoft Office 2016 machine. Select updates. Here you can see update channel here. I will select enabled and then under channel name, I have a drop down. Right now it's current channel, so I can select the update channel that I want. So in this case, I want it to be a monthly enterprise channel. And then I'm going to click apply and OK. So as you saw, my GPU is created. Now I have two options. I can wait 90 minutes or I can just do GP update. And after GP update, the, the update channel, instead of being current, it should be monthly enterprise. So I'm gonna open up CMD. So computer policy updated has completed successfully. Now I'm gonna open my Outlook. So the GP update is completed. The group policy is up, uh, applied to this machine, but still shows current channel. So what you need to do, just click on update and click update now. So what it's doing right now, it's updating and it's changing uh, the update channel from current to monthly enterprise. So in a few minutes, you will see that it shows monthly enterprise. So my office is updated and I'm going to check the, the update channel. So now under about Outlook, you see now it shows monthly enterprise. It used to be current channel. So this is how you can change the update channel in Office 365. And it's gonna apply to not only Outlook, but also Word. 
Excel, anything that you have in your suite. So for example, now I'm going to check Word. If I click on account, you see now it shows monthly enterprise. So it doesn't matter if it's Outlook or Word, you can, it will applies to everything that comes with your license. There are a few things that you need to consider if you're going to use this way. And I'm going to list all of them in the description of this video. But the first one that I'm going to mention is when you're moving from a channel with the higher build number to a channel with the lower build number, such as a current channel to a monthly enterprise. The update is going to be larger than normal, but update is not going to be as large as a full installation of Microsoft Office 365. So that's one thing that you have to consider. And like I mentioned, I'm going to include other things that you have to consider before applying this group policy to your environment. I hope you like this video. Let me know if you have any questions. See you all next time.